Hi everyone, welcome to Dharma Earth's Dose of Dharma, and uh, this is your Dose of Dharma for today. Okay, so we go to the third danger, uh, the third uh, action that uh, will cause one to lose one's wealth. Okay, and this one is uh, going to attend fairs. So what are fairs? Fairs are like carnivals, you know, like that. Huh? So what are the dangers huh, uh, in attending uh, fairs? So the dangers is that one is always thinking, well, where is their dancing? Where is their singing? Where are they playing music? What are they reciting? Where is their hand clapping? Where are the drums, etc. Okay. So let us see the commentary. Huh? Uh, what does the commentary say and uh, how we can apply this in our daily lives? Okay. So the commentary says, you know, like, where do they dance? <clears throat> then, after they ask, uh, uh, which, uh, where are the places that uh, that have the dancing or uh, theatric, uh, theatrical performances, then they go there to see. Yeah? So you know, in, in the past, they have to go like they have to walk like few days in order to go to that certain village to go to see the certain performance, right? So. This is in a way a waste of the time, okay? and also in preparation for attending the dance, for attending eh, the dance performance eh, that day. Uh, then he has to spend the whole day arranging clothes, perfumes, etc., uh, resulting in a whole day of work getting lost. And then he remains. Then this person remains there for one, two, or even three days watching the. Dance performance. This will be in the in the in the ancient India, okay. And even if he, even if the weather conditions are favorable, okay, but he does not engage in those product productive activities such as like sowing or plowing during the appropriate season, etc. And knowing that he is away. So the thieves will, will uh, find his house unguarded, and they also take what they, whatever they want. Okay. In addition to the wealth that uh, he, he will be losing. Hmm? So generally, huh? uh, going to fast. Why, if one is ad addicted to going to fast, they will encounter these few things: loss of work. He do not go to work. Extended absence from work, neglect of duties, and there's a risk of a uh, theft going happening in the house, uh, and also um, like that. Huh? So, how do we apply this in our present era? Like going to movies, going to concerts, performance is basically pretty. It's basically pretty common, isn't that so? Huh? Well, the thing is that. If it uh, hinders, if it hinders with your work, right? If you are totally really addicted to it and it hinders with your work, then there is the danger there. Okay, basically this passage is uh, saying like this. That is why, and also you know, like uh, going to the performances and all that. Mm, it stirs up. It stirs up a lot of uh, emotions. Stirs up a lot. Of course, people feel good when they go there, uh, listen to the music, uh, and uh, get high together <laughs> with uh, by the music and all that. Uh, but uh, there's one thing that uh, may be possible, which is uh, the risk of theft. Okay, well, of course, not to say that we should always stay in the, at home and cannot go out. Uh, but uh, I think we should exercise uh, uh, precaution size precaution and do not let those uh, indulgence in performances uh, uh, affect our work okay so hopefully this is helpful to everyone hmm? okay so and maybe it is best that um, if we can develop happiness uh, that is free from all these indulgence in these entertainments uh, then uh, I think it will be pretty fulfilling for a lot of people, you know, because I mean, this suddenly comes to mind is that I've been reading some books about um, 
just to get to know uh, about the addiction and all that. There's this, uh, uh, yeah, there's, there's some books. And some of the, some of the things that, that I read uh, out of curiosity and is that when pe- people go to these sensual pleasures, uh, because they, 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 they feel empty if they do not go to this, they, they do, not, do not go to enjoy sensual pleasures, right? And when they, when they go to enjoy these sensual pleasures, and what is the what is the cause? Of course, they want to enjoy, but if they do not enjoy, then what do they feel? They feel they may feel empty, they may feel lonely, they may feel bored, basically uncomfortable, isn't that so? So, if we can develop happiness through maybe like the Brahma Viharas or any kind of any other meditation subjects, then actually we feel that we we live. We are living in a life of abundance. Our emotions doesn't have to be like that. You don't have to suffer just because you can't go to a concert, right? So if we can develop this kind of uh, happiness that is uh, that has less side effect, less side effect means that if you do not get it, uh, then you suffer. Uh, if you if you develop a happiness uh, from the Dharma, which is which has less side effect, <clears throat> I think it would be pretty fulfilling for people and you will not need to keep doing things in order to make you happy if you don't do things even if you don't do things you will be happy i think that's a higher level of happiness that one can develop definitely using the buddha's uh, dharma okay so hopefully uh, everyone will be able to develop this kind of happiness uh, that can be free from sensual pleasures and ultimately find fulfillment and abundance in the practice of the Dharma and the cultivation of qualities, especially the Brahma Viharas. Okay, okay. so uh, this is your dose of Dharma for today. We shall all be well, peaceful and happy. And may the Shubhajan bless all of us to be able to attain path, ration and Nibbana as soon as possible. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.